avoid performative benefits at all costs. So what are performative benefits? Performative benefits are those benefits that sound good. They seem like a great idea and everybody on the team is all in. Yet, when it's time for employees to use those benefits, there is pushback, there is backlash. Here's a great example. Many companies have implemented unlimited PTO, which on the surface sounds amazing, right? Who wouldn't want to have unlimited PTO? Yet, I have talked to multiple people whose organizations have a policy of unlimited PTO. Yet, when I ask them how it's going, they say, we can't use it. You can't use it? What does that mean? Well, what they say is that if they use the PTO benefits, then they get pushback from their managers. There are threats to be written up and they are saying it's simply not worth it. What in the world? How can we have a policy and a benefit that could be incredibly useful to our people, but they are afraid to use it? Listen, with every new benefit and every new policy, along with it has to come leadership training, accountability, expectations, help the leaders understand how to manage and navigate through the new policy, because the very last thing that you want is to have your organization suffer because you now have implemented a performative benefit. Performative benefits hurt your organization in so many ways. It decreases morale, it decreases engagement, it increases turnover, and it lowers trust. None of those are anything that you want your organization to experience. So the best thing to do when you are going to implement a practice that you know your leaders may struggle with, it needs to come with thorough training, expectations, and accountability. And oh, wait, one more thing, evaluation. Check in with your people to see if the benefit is going as desired and as designed.